for those of you in a hurry, edit, find change, query, multiple return to single return, change all, okay, and we are done. Now for those of you not in a hurry, let me back up and start from the beginning. Looking at our document just here, our paragraph spacing. So this looks pretty good just here and also down here. Clearly we have some issues just in here. Now I'd like to briefly show you how you can actually visualize this formatting. So at the bottom of the tools panel, the bottom most button, this is the screen mode button. If I click and hold, I'm going to change from preview into normal mode. This allows us to visualize normally hidden things like margins and guides. And then up under the type menu, I'm going to choose show hidden characters. And when I do that, I'm just going to zoom in nice and tight just here. We can start to see all of the things like spaces, these blue dots just here. And this little guy just here, this is a Pilcrow character and it's what's inserted every time you press enter or return. Basically, it's saying take a new paragraph. So if I zoom back out just here, so you can see these two paragraphs just here are spaced nicely because they only have that single paragraph marker just in there. What you don't want to be doing guys between your paragraphs is pressing enter twice. This is something you'll often see when bringing in Word documents. So you can see here the Pilcrow character twice, and down here it's even worse, we've got three of them. Of course guys, we could uh, just get our cursor inside of here, press the delete or the backspace key and manually fix these up. I'll just undo that. But of course the purpose of this video is to show you how you can automate this and hopefully do it, preferably, all in one click. So let's go back into edit, find change. Guys, when you normally use this dialog box, you'll be in this text mode just here. And you're probably used to doing very simple searches like finding Bob with a lowercase b and changing it to Bob with an uppercase b. You've got your find next, change, change all, all of those normal things just over here. Very similar across most word processing programs. So again, text is the default mode, but find change here inside of InDesign is incredibly powerful with multiple modes. And this second one just here is grep. Now grep allows you to do far more sophisticated searches. I'm not going to dive into the specifics guys today. I just wanna keep it very brief, but just a bit of a tease, just to let you know, find what you can go searching for some incredibly specific things through here and then replace them, change two, with a whole bunch of other very cool sophisticated things. So that's what grep's all about. But again, I'm just gonna gloss over the details just now because all you need to worry about is up here where it says query, click on that little drop down just there, and we are going for multiple return to single return. And when you choose that, it's actually populating that find what and change two fields for you. Basically, this is InDesign code for multiple returns, and this is InDesign code for a single return. Let's, for example, click on find next. And here we go. Because I already had my cursor inside of here, it's jumped down and found this one just here. So if I choose change, fantastic. Those three enter characters have been replaced with a single one. Find next. We can see it's found this guy just up here. Choose change. Fantastic, and we are done. Okay, so you might be feeling slightly underwhelmed by the power of this feature. Well, hopefully my next example will impress you. So. This document just here is a very long document indeed, and we have a lot of problems with our paragraph spacing. We've got a lot of double paragraph markers, and there's multiple instances of even more than that. So let's go straight up to edit, find change, query. Let's go down to our good old multiple return to single return. Now I'll just show you if I click on find next, fantastic, it's finding that one. Find next, find next, so it's picking them all up, very nice. So let's not change these one at a time, let's just go for the good old change all, and look at that, instantaneously, it's found 374 instances of this problem, and fixed them. So as soon as I choose OK, and I'll close this find change, check it out guys, our entire document has now had all those 
problems removed, and we are good to go. So that's it there, guys. Edit, find change, query, multiple return to single return. I hope that dramatically speeds up your editing process here inside of InDesign, especially with your long documents. Catch you later.